All right, so before we get into our refinishing project, there's a few things that we'll go over real quickly here to make sure that everything goes perfectly smoothly for you and you uh, get the most out of the We Refinish products. Now, these are basically the three products that you're going to use. Wheat stain, champagne stain, tone varnish. Okay, so this is your clear finish. It has a yellow amber tint to it. Um, it's a water-based finish. This is actually a, an improved product of ours that we just uh, made some changes to recently based on feedback. And we do listen, okay? And this is actually has been such a big improvement. For, uh, I absolutely love this product now. Um, the difference with the new clear that we're, that we're offering is it has an amber glow to it, an amber tint, which really warms up the finish. And that's sort of something that, that water-based products, all water-based products lack. They are water clear. So we're using an oil-based product or a lacquer. Um, they have a yellow or an amber glow to them, and that gives you a lot of warmth, which is something that we try and replicate with Haywood Wakefield because the reason that the, the aged Haywood Wakefield finishes look so different than they looked originally is because the, the lacquer that they used the nitrocellulose lacquer they used turned yellow. It turned a terrible yellow. It wasn't supposed to do that. But the look that we have now isn't the original look. It's not what it looked like in the 50s. Okay, You now have basically a yellow filter um, on top of your finish. So we look at it and we think, oh, this is the original color. It's not really the original color, but it's the color that we have, that we know of now as the original color because it has a yellow filter on it. That lacquer turned yellow. So Water-based water finishes, it's kind of really hard to replicate that because the, the finish is clear, okay? So you lack that. We have now gotten past that with this new and improved clear that is going to give us that very mild, like uh, you, you, you don't even hardly notice it, right? Um, but this is a dye-infused amber, and it really makes a big difference. So let me show you. So this was our original champagne, okay? Um, now what we're doing is this right here, okay? So this really sort of is the difference between the two. The stain is exactly the same, the finish is exactly the same, the finish just has a little bit more amber glow to it and amber warmth, and it gives you a little bit more of a warm kind of look when the finish is all done. So this piece right here was just refinished with our uh, champagne and this amber clear. So in this the color, the look that you're going to get, this is what you know we had before. Not a crazy difference, you know what I mean? Not a crazy difference, but an improved difference, right? And every little thing that we can do to make it a little bit better, we're always listening. We're always open to suggestions. So by all means, you know, let us know what you think. Um, uh, but I just, you know, we're, we're to a point here where I just don't know how to improve it anymore. You know, once uh, you eventually just get the look and you're just there, right? So here's some things to know before you get started with these products. These products are different than probably any products you've ever used. They are specifically designed for Hayden Wakefield. They're specifically designed to give us an exact color on this wood. Um, this is a very dense wood. So it takes a different type of finish, a different type of stain. Um, there's a lot of colors added, and they're just designed completely different than any stains. So you really need to follow the directions. If the, the complaints that we, we have gotten through the years tend to be people that haven't followed the directions, and that always say that they follow the directions, but you can tell that they didn't, right? I can tell. And you have to follow the directions because these are different products than what you're going to be used to using. These, these aren't Minwax stains. They're not an oil-based stain where you can just put it on, cover the whole piece and stain, then go back over it and wipe it all off. These are very specific finishes that have to be done in a certain way. So if you follow these videos and, and look at them, once you know how to do it, it's super easy. It's just that you can't base your refinishing uh, style and routine off of things that you've done in the past. You really need to do this stuff differently. Um, most notably, work in small areas. Work in small areas and small sections because this is going to dry fast, right? So the reason that this dries fast is it's a water-borne, water-reducible stain and finish. With a water-reducible stain, it evaporates. Okay, so it evaporates relatively quickly. 
and that's the problem that people run into. They um, they go too slow, right? It starts to evaporate, and then it dries and it doesn't come off right, and it gets streaky. So it's a, that's a user problem. It's it's not a product problem, but it's understandable if you just don't follow the directions and read them. You don't gotta, you're not going to know any better, right? So follow the directions, read the directions, watch these videos, and it's going to be so easy for you, and you're going to get fantastic results. Another thing, since it's a water reducible product, don't have any air blowing on it. Okay, you don't want to really do this. I mean, you really don't want to do this outside on a windy day. Okay, but you especially don't want to do it indoors with a fan blowing on you. Now, I know a lot of you are going to be in very hot parts of the nation, right? You might be in Arizona, Florida, um, anywhere where it's where it's warm. A lot of, we sell a lot in California, and. Yes, I understand. It's hot. You need a fan. You want a fan on you. Okay. Um, you have to turn the fan off while you're applying the stain because it's going to evaporate the stain so fast that you're not going to be able to keep up with it. And you're going to think that it's the product's fault. Um, you can't have any air blowing on you. Okay. Nothing. You don't want anything that's going to uh, make the stain evaporate quicker than it already is going to. Okay. Number two. Same basic thought you, you, you need to stay out of direct sunlight okay you could definitely work outdoors but if you're going to apply this stuff outside make sure that you are in shade okay sunlight heats the piece up evaporates it like that okay so you don't want a hot surface if you have a hot surface you know you know what happens with water with water-based items um it's going to evaporate really quickly. It's going to make it, again, very difficult for you. You're going to blame the product, but it's not going to be the product's fault. Well, you have to put the product in, a, in the right environment. Okay? So stay out of the sunlight, preferably indoors, but outdoors is absolutely fine as long as you are in shade or cover. In a garage is a great place, right? Anything like that. Those are really the, the two main things that you need to know. Other than that, it's you want to work fast. So we talk about this in the directions. We'll talk about this in the upcoming videos. Um, I'm going to show you when we stain, and I'm going to talk about that a lot more, so we don't need to overdo that right now. But you're going to want to work relatively quickly, and in small areas, okay? Other than that, you're not going to have any issues, okay? You're not. It's, it's a super easy product to work with. Those are really just the things that you need to look out for when you, when you get into it. Um, your stains, as far as the color goes, I have gotten some complaints through the years. People think that this is, a, this is the wrong color. So as soon as they get it and look at it out of, out of the box, they're like, oh, this, this color is terrible. It looks like, you know, colonial maple or something, and this can't be right. It's right. Okay, this color is going to give you this finish. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, this is the wheat. This is the champagne. They are the correct colors that you're going to need to get these colors um, as your final result. So the bottom would be the wheat, top would be the champagne. Okay? So, I mean, that pretty much covers most of the things that you need to know to get into um, the next phase. So the next thing that we'll do is we'll talk about, about prep um, and about whether you're going to sand, whether you're going to um, strip the finish off, sand that will finish off, how we go about determining those things. Um, and the type of prep that we need to do in order to get the best finish that we can get for our Haywood Wakefield refinishing project. So we'll see you in the next video.